In San Francisco, it seems there's always music in the air. And jazz was definitely in the air when Red Carpet Bay Area went to the annual SF Jazz Gala, Freedom in the Groove. Some 400 jazz lovers came out to Bimbo's 365 in San Francisco, all here to celebrate SF Jazz. We're covering all bases and all grounds, from sports to music to all the arts. Chris Tucker will be here, uh, along with one of my favorite uh, film directors, Robert Townsend, Ronnie Lott. It's late. I love jazz. Uh, it's, it's the best music in the world. It stimulates uh, both sides of your brains. It's incredible. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. A lot of bright, sharp pencils here tonight. It's, it's, it's going to be an amazing uh, crowd and conversation. It always is at SF Jazz. I'm hanging out, having a good time. I'm looking forward to seeing my friend Clint Eastwood. I haven't seen him for a long time. It's jazz. San Francisco's longtime love affair with jazz is alive and well. SF Jazz has been bringing the world's greatest jazz musicians to the stage since 1983. I'm just a huge fan of jazz, I'm a huge fan of the history of jazz, and of course a huge fan of this town, my town, San Francisco. It's just great to see guys like Robert Mayo Anderson step up to the plate so we can put jazz on the world stage in a world-class city. This is the first time SF Jazz has ever raised a million dollars through our gala, so we crossed a major milestone tonight. So we're in the middle of building our first new home in our concert hall right over on Franklin and Fell, and I think all the excitement in the press and everything we've gotten from that has made people stand up and go, I want to be a part of that, I want to be there. And so they're showing up in droves. We'll have a theater, we'll have performing spaces, we'll have educational spaces, and part of our cultural corridor, you're going to be a block away from the symphony and a couple blocks from the opera. All of this vital artistic life that San Francisco is so known for, and we're going to be all together within walking distance. It's like a new art form is coming to our city that has been here forever, and I couldn't be prouder to be here. This is like the beginning of something new for us, and this uh, working for this organization and seeing it grow is just always keeps you on young and on your toes. So this is a wonderful new phase. And like every year, it's the kids who warm up the crowd, the SF Jazz High School All-Stars. In fact, every time we have folks that come and hear the high school all-stars playing, they'll turn the corner and see that they're kids and go, wait, those are kids. To tell them, yes, they are, but they're our kids. Thank you for being jealous, President of NAACP. That's Chris Tucker getting the first ever NAACP SF Jazz Humanitarian Award for his work at home and in Africa. Director, actor Clint Eastwood said he didn't have to think twice when asked to present the SF Jazz Lifetime Achievement Award to his longtime friend, legendary jazz pianist Ahmad Jamal. Therefore be it resolved that I, no, that Mayor Ed Lee <laughs> do hereby proclaim May 4th, 2012, as Alma Jamal's Day in San Francisco. Thank you. God bless. Ciao. If May 4th is a Ma Jamal Day in San Francisco, Red Carpet Bay Area believes every day is SF Jazz Day, keeping music in the air and great jazz in the city. For more information about SF Jazz, log on to their website, sfjazz.com.